It is tragic when we are misled, tricked, and even influenced by our enemies. But what is more tragic is we deceive ourselves. Now, for some people, the thought of we deceive ourselves are almost improbable or impossible. But in today's passage, Paul described how the Corinthian church deceived themselves, and we can learn from their lessons. Three things. Worldly instead of spiritual. Paul said that sets this, this two level of spirituality in his eyes. The first level is positional, and the second level is how we practice. Paul knows that they are all saved, and they and Paul calls them saints. However, the way they live do not display that. They are envy to each, envious to each other and have division and strife. So the testimony is give God's uh, name a bad name. And Paul's do not dance around this issue and they call them out. They said, you're not spiritual, you're carnal. The second thing I've learned today is they are divided and not united. Paul says that we are all working under the leadership and lordship of Christ. There's no division among us and we should renounce all this uh, foolish thoughts of we are divided. Instead, God has given us a marvelous opportunity that we can work with him together with other Christians around us. Yes, the result will be the different from each other and our positions and our calling will be uh, not the same. But God sees our heart, so we need to work together for God together as a team. The third thing I've learned is we need not to be crafty, but we need to be holy. Paul urges them to renounce all the craftiness of life using worldly wisdom because in God's eyes, those are foolish and fertile. We must rely on God, the holiness of God. We are called to be the holy temple of the Holy Spirit. We are holy because of God's presence. In this way, we need to separate ourselves from the influence of the world and we should reserve ourselves for God's use. My application today is, thank God that we are safe. However, we can live like a practical atheist. Now let me explain. We can believe in our brain, our mind that we are safe, but our action do not follow the Bible. And that's totally wrong. God is going to judge us one day. So what should we do? We should ruthlessly evaluate our behavior each day. We should compare it with the Word of God, like looking at the mirror each day. And we should find a mentor who should guide us. And also, we need to do our journaling each day, asking God to review uh, His message to us each day, talk to us, rebuke us each day. My prayer today is, Father, I'm so sorry that uh, I use my pride, my desire to deceive myself, I just pray that, Lord, help us to have the wisdom, to have the insight to see who we really are. Help us to serve you, Lord, as a team. Help us not to be worldly, but spiritual, and display your love to the world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.